I am at my storage facility right now. We're gonna go ahead and test the Cosmos XT006Rs on the truck with the fender flares. We're gonna take off the side skirt so we can actually put the fender flare on. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see the fitment, what we're working with in the rear. I know it's gonna be a half inch wider on each side. Uh, we're just gonna see what that looks like. We have to disconnect the diffuser right back here just so we can slide the Bushwhacker fender flare in. And also, like I said, take off the side skirt. So let's get to it. All my beautiful stuff. Got the cart all loaded up. Now all we gotta do is just slap it on the truck. So I got the wheels here. I got my toolboxes. I got the little jack. I'm just gonna place my mats underneath each wheel just so in case it does end up coming down, uh, it has something soft to land on. I already loosened the lug nuts, obviously, and I jacked the truck up. So I'm just gonna loosen them some more. Put the wheel on and put this six by six under each wheel so it's obviously not touching the floor and then we're gonna get the flares slap them on the truck and uh from that point on we're just gonna go ahead and see what the fitment's looking like this is gonna be pushed out half an inch more like i said and this is gonna be the true fitment that it's gonna have i might add a small little spacer obviously hub centric Every time I see this thing with the wheel off, it just looks freaking massive. 13 inch rotor, four piston super light wheel wood. I'm definitely gonna clean this because this is nasty. I did hydro charge these from Chemical Guys, so it should be a little easier to take the dirt off. And this is holding up pretty good. The black gloss paint that I put on here, I just gotta get some Decon Pro on that. Take that off. I got the compress. Oof. Careful, careful. Like a glove. Boom, damn, it's like almost hub centric. I think it is hub centric. Look at this. Oh geez. Look at the fitment on this. Amazing, amazing. Makes the Willwood look huge back there. I mean, it is huge. All right, I'm just gonna put the lug nuts on. So I just turned the truck full lock. Um, we might have some clearance issues with the brake line there. I feel like it, I feel like it does kind of clear the sway bar. It's kind of tough to tell right now. Maybe with tire it won't. Um, I might have to have a small spacer or maybe things change when I drop the truck. So let me lower it a little bit. All right, so after lowering, I could definitely tell it's not gonna come into contact with the sway bar or the brake line. All we really have to do at this point is you see how the tire is gonna come up to here. We're gonna tub this. We're gonna tub the firewall or the inner fender well, um, whatever you wanna call it. And um, just make it look pretty down here and cover it with some bed liner. So this is kind of what the wheel looks like at full lock. I'm obviously gonna center it out and see how much flare it's gonna have. But yeah, dude, it looks so sick. Look at that Willwood back there. I like how with this wheel setup, as opposed to the Mickey Thompson's, you could actually see the Willwood a lot better. The other one had thicker spokes, so you could hardly see it back there, but this is perfect at any angle. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten it out. Fire. Oh shit, this isn't straight. <laughs> okay, now it is straight and that looks a whole lot better. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the side skirt right here real quick. That way we can actually throw the flare on because this thing's in the way here. Okay, this is off. Yay, dude, check out these side skirts. All right, people, so this is the kind of fitment we're gonna be going for. Um, it's about, I wanna say three quarters of an inch inward. I'm gonna definitely get like a 15 millimeter spacer, get it like nice and flush to this fender here. Um, it's gonna be hub centric. And I feel like the tire letters, the Nitto tire letters are gonna give it kind of like a 3D effect. So the truck is gonna definitely be a different color. It's not gonna be this satin black. Um, that's gonna be something I'm gonna reveal in a different video, but this is kind of what we're working with right now. I feel like it's gonna be really sick. And now we are moving on to the rear fitment. 
like I said, this is gonna stick out a little bit more because it is uh, gonna have the S13 rear suspension in here. So right now it's lifted up. Oh, it's not that much. When we drop it, it's obviously gonna go in a little bit. Uh, hopefully it stays kind of there. It's kind of where I want it. So let's, let's see how this goes. I just need to tighten these lug nuts and uh, drop this thing. Not like that. Drop it slowly. So we got the rear flare on here. I had to loosen some bolts in the rear of the diffuser or front of the diffuser. I don't know what you want to call that. But officially both fender flares are on and I just want to get a side shot of this dude. Look at that. Would you just look at it? <sighs> this truck is gonna be breaking next left and right with these wheels, the flares, this super nice fitment. Obviously it's just taped on once it's on there. It's gonna go ahead and sit nicely. Damn, dude, oh my God. This is gonna be crazy. Police wanted everybody out. 